Today in Alabama. Good Sunday morning. I'm Demetria Connor. Thanks for joining us for this Sunday special edition of WSFA 12 News Today in Alabama. We'll check your headlines in just a moment, but first, meteorologist Eric Snydel is tracking your morning forecast. Good morning, Eric. Thanks, Eric. Well, this morning, a Wetumpka family is still trying to figure out why someone would attack and kill their family dog just minutes after letting the pet Yorkshire Terrier out in the backyard. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Wells talked to the family who's on a mission to make this story public. The Caskies did report the incident to the Police Animal Control and their Homeowners Association. Since this is the dog's first offense, there is no punishment. Well, downtown Wetumpka is hoping to get more foot traffic after the Pump the Tump event. The event showcased local businesses in a downtown festival. The idea was to help these businesses get their name out. Organizers are still deciding whether to hold it again next year. They believe roughly 700 people attended. Hundreds of people gathered at the steps of the state capitol yesterday for yet another protest against Alabama's immigration law. Organizers say roughly 500 people gathered for this peaceful rally. Jose Antonio Castro, who is the host of a Spanish language radio show, organized the protest. These pictures are from the Aqua Manda La Jefe show's Twitter page. Speakers at the rally shared their experience and talked about how they and their communities have been affected by the new law. Castro and his co-host have been marching across the state in protest to draw attention to HB 56. Castro had nearly 50,000 signed petitions against the law from people across the state and the nation. He plans to deliver the petitions to Alabama Governor Robert Bentley tomorrow. Well, Republican presidential candidate Newt Gingrich is now leading the GOP polls at 24 percent. But with that lead comes Republicans being down to the wire on a deficit deal. Republican Senator John Kyle of Arizona and Democratic Senator John Kerry of Massachusetts weighed in on this issue during this morning's Meet the Press. Both Kyle and Kerry serve on the bipartisan deficit super committee, which is under a 36 hour deadline for deficit deal. Americans debt topped $15 trillion this week. Well, a fugitive who led state and Houston County officials on a manhunt is now in custody. Daryl Combs had eluded officers on Friday. This is video from the scene on Friday night search in the Kingsley area. Officials say a state trooper tried to stop Gums, but they say he was driving a stolen vehicle. During the chase, Gums ditched the vehicle and took off on foot into a wooded area. No word on that charges on what charges Combs will face. The American Red Cross was on the ground in Auburn yesterday. A tornado touched down there Wednesday with winds up to 110 miles an hour. The Red Cross sent two volunteers and emergency response vehicles to Lee County to help in the tornado relief effort. Uh, here. Well, at least we're good for Thanksgiving. We're good for Thanksgiving. That's okay. kind of our in-between. But uh, <laughs> yeah. around there, it'll be interesting, to uh, say the least. Well, thank you so sure. much, Eric. Well, Troy University is now offering financial help for the families of fallen servicemen and women. The university announced a new scholarship program called Troy for Troops. It will provide a four-year scholarship for a dependent of the 30 troops who were killed on August 6 in, Af in Afghanistan. The university is looking to raise a minimum of $30,000 for the program. The organization is asking for donations. If you would like to make a donation, we've placed a link to their website in the write it down section of WSFA.com. Well, this is a season of giving, and with Thanksgiving coming around the corner, many of you are getting in that turkey day spirit, like these people who are out walking and running for a cause. We'll explain. Plus, we'll have more on a new building dedication at Troy University, coming up right after this. In Pike County, Troy University dedicated a building Saturday in the honor of a former senior administrator. The General Academic Building is now named Patterson Hall in honor of Dr. Douglas Patterson. Patterson contributed more than 20 years of service to the school as a senior administrator. He served as vice chancellor from 1989 until he retired in 2007. Well, just in time for Thanksgiving, hundreds of people turned out for the 11th annual Turkey Burner Run Saturday, hosted by Metro Fitness and Montgomery Multisport. Turkey Burner is a 5K or one mile fun run that benefits the Montgomery Area Food Bank. Both the 5K and fun run started and finished at the Pepper Tree Center 
who sponsored the event. And speaking of turkey, many of you are probably making that grocery list for Thanksgiving dinner, and some may be preparing for Turkey Day football. Coming up in sports, Derek Steyer will have the highlights of the final home game for Alabama as they snagged a victory over Georgia Southern. Plus, Auburn got a scare from Sanford. That and more is next in sports. Eric is here with a final check of weather, and Eric, it's foggy now. Yeah, what can we expect later? Kind of a dreary start to the yeah. day. You know what, though? I do think it gets better. I think we're going to clear out some of that fog, some of that drizzle here by later this afternoon. And in fact, we may even see some sunshine, but all our attention turns to Tuesday when that could be our next round of strong thunderstorms. All right. Well, thank you, Eric. And that's it for this Sunday special edition of WSFA 12 News Today in Alabama. We'll see you right back here at 5 and 10. Have a good day.